Toivet and Twine 2.6 for Sugarcube 2.36. In this video, I'm going to cover an example of doing layout with HTML. As we've increasingly seen over the last few videos, we can use HTML elements to help us better organize content within passages. This is an alternative to using things like textiles and other things we've also seen within Sugarcube, allowing authors better options for organizing content using HTML elements, as we've been using over the last few videos, or alternatively using things like textiles and other things we also have available to us. So in this video, let's look at particular ways of using HTML to better organize things we've already seen. So in particular, in certain cases, we might want to prefer using HTML as opposed to text styles. Again, both are perfectly valid, but we might want to sometimes use HTML elements to better organize things in particular ways. So let's look at an example where we're using not only our understanding of how white space works, but also HTML elements to organize things. So here I have an example of something we've seen a number of times now. Many people prefer to use things like role-playing games or pulling from elements of role-playing games in their twine stories. For this in particular, notice we're using strong for strong emphasis, the HTML element instead of the textiles using special symbols. I'm also controlling white space. Notice this list box will be organized right up here with these corresponding things. And then we have character sheet, and then I'm doing something a little bit different here. And now we're starting to check the values before we do anything else. Now, increasingly, as we've seen with things that add interactivity, and there are a large number of macros that do, we can often do certain actions before we transition to a corresponding passage. In this case, I'm using our knowledge of the go-to macro as well and checking to see if name is not an empty value right here. So notice up here in text box, I'm setting name to an empty value, so assuming the reader does nothing and immediately attempts to click on character sheet. If the name is not this, it will go to character sheet. If it is, it will go right back to start, which is the passage we're looking at. So not only am I using strong right here for strong emphasis, but I'm also better organizing this. And let's go look at the next passage. So notice again, because I'm using the go-to macro, there's no visual connection between these two passages. Coming over here, notice I'm now using the paragraph element, strong and EM for emphasis. So let's go ahead and look at this. So notice this is a fairly common setup, but we're using a number of different things simultaneously. Now, now we're using multiple macros for interactivity, right up here, text box and list box, but we're also controlling the white space and we're also using right here for bold, the strong element, and in the next passage, we will be using the EM for emphasis. So I'm going to go ahead and attempt to click on character sheet and notice it sends me right back over here. Now, as we learn in some future videos, we can control this even better and give the reader some information if they type in the wrong thing or if they fail to type in something. But in this particular case, if I try to click on character sheet and there isn't a name, it will send me right back here. And this is an increasing trend we will see through combining our knowledge across a number of different macros and a large number of videos at this point within SugarCube, where we can start to give the reader better information about things they're inputting if they're inputting particular data. When working with things like text box or dealing, dealing with checkbox or list box, we can allow them better control over what they select and how they select things in different combinations. At least in this particular video, I have to type something. So if I type my name, I pick Hunter, go ahead and go to character sheet, notice this is name, class Hunter. Notice again using strong and using EM for emphasis. Now this is a very simple example, but it points to an increasing usage of HTML in combination with other macros within Sugarcube 2.36. And again, this can be incredibly useful for layout. If we have a prepared thing like this character sheet right here, where we're using HTML to better organize things, especially better organized layout as the emphasis of this particular video. We can use things like this as part of the include macro or other things we have seen to lean on the fact that we organize layout in one passage and then include its contents in another or potentially work with its contents in other passages. 
So this is a relatively short and simple video that again emphasizes this single point. We can do layout with HTML based on the knowledge we have of it. And this can be incredibly useful again through intermixing our existing knowledge of interactivity and other macros within Sugarcube. In particular, as we'll see in some future videos, we can use our knowledge of the attributes and selectors when working with those attributes to even change the content of corresponding elements once we are using them in layouts like this. So potentially we could prepare something like a character sheet and then have other macros act on this HTML itself, changing its contents or otherwise working with it in ways to better help us organize even more based on this initial simple example of using layout with them. Thanks for watching.